Hi everybody, how are you? Um, so guys, for most of you that would know me on Facebook and on Snapchat, you have all been asking me to do uh, and start a YouTube channel. So this is going to be my first video, it's going to be my first go and I'm totally, totally winging it. I haven't a clue what I'm at. Um, but basically, um, tonight's video, um, after a great response on Snapchat this evening, I did my first impressions video on the... Pippa palette. Now I know guys I think this is going to be back to front because I'm using my phone I don't have much technical kind of ability I don't have a big camera but tonight's demo is going to be on the brand new Pippa palette from Blank Canvas Cosmetics. Um, I got sent this amazing palette by Blank Canvas so thank you so much to Una and the team for doing that. Um, the palette has been kind of on the scene for quite a while now Um, what I suppose has been talked about and it hasn't yet been launched so I actually had the privilege of getting one sent to me before the pre-sale which is this Monday. Um, so the palette itself is absolutely gorgeous. It's like a one-stop shop for all girls. Um, it contains six eyeshadows, so there'd be six matte ranging from really light kind of creamy whites all the way to medium kind of toned browns and then getting darker and darker and we have the holy grail black which every girl needs. Um, we also then have three powders, so these would be a highlighting powder, a blusher powder and a contour. So as I said, there's a little mirror here. And um, so yeah, it's absolutely amazing for your handbag. So really, really cool. Um, delighted for Pippa and for Una and all the team at Blank Canvas Cosmetics. I've been following Pippa for a long, long, long time. I'm a big fan of hers. And Blank Canvas Cosmetics were the very first makeup brush company that I ever used. And um, they have been so supportive of me over my last two years, um, just even doing makeup. And I want to just thank them so much for sending me out the palette in advance. So anyway, I'm going to shut up because I won't know how to edit this thing and I don't want it to be miles long. Um, following on from my Snapchat video this evening, I said I would try and do a little YouTube clip for you. So it'll be my first YouTube clip. So fingers crossed it'll go well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to demo a nice kind of smoky look using the Pippa palette. And then I'm going to show you guys how to use the highlighter, the blusher and the contour as well. Okay, so I'll talk you through it step by step. So the first um, thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my E26 blank canvas brush. It's a white kind of tapered head rounded um, blending brush and every girl should have this brush. Like literally if I was to say any eye makeup brush that anybody should have, it this one would do your whole entire makeup apart from the eyeliner, um, but it would do a whole entire makeup um, all in one. So what I'm first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in to and I'm going to just swivel the brush into Toby. Then, so I'm going to start by applying Toby into the crease of my eye. I hope you guys will be able to make this out. I'm going to be looking in a mirror. I know I'm probably not supposed to be telling you these things, but I'm a newbie, so you'll forgive me, I hope. So what I'm doing basically is I'm blending backwards and forwards, as I like to call them sometimes, it's like window wiper movements. And I'm doing small circular movements in the socket of the eye. So don't come down too far into the eye with it, just blending kind of upwards and you should have that kind of seamless kind of blended out look. You shouldn't be able to see um, this eyeshadow um, very clearly. There shouldn't be any harsh lines. It should all be nice and really well blended. And the one thing I really love about Toby is that it's a really kind of warm, it's almost got like a peachy kind of undertone to it, which is really, really nice, really warming um, on the skin. So I absolutely love this shade. There's another shade as well called Ollie, which is gorgeous as well. It's more of a light kind of medium brown and it would also be a really, really nice, pretty um, blending out shade. So you'll have to excuse me. I'm not even heeding what I even look like in this video. I'm just going in and doing my thing. So thank you so much to everybody this evening who supported me um, on Snapchat. I have a load of new followers, so hopefully you'll enjoy the videos. So as you can see, I'm just, that's just ever so slightly just blended out. There's a real kind of seamless kind of look going on there. I'll be able to go back in when I go in with my darker shades and maybe just adjust that a little bit. I'm also going to get Toby with the exact same brush and I'm just going to run it underneath the eye. So this is just going to add that kind of extra little bit of smokiness. 
And again, when I go in with my darker shades, I will just blend that back out again. So what this basically does, this is basically contouring your eye area. And what contouring your eye area does is it just defines the shape of your eye. And it also just makes your smoky looks look much more seamless and kind of flawless. And as I said, you shouldn't really be able to see the line where it stops. It should just kind of seamlessly flow, flow kind of outwards into the eye. So depending on your eye shape, make sure and just open your eye and everybody will have sort of like a little socket or a crease kind of line here. And that's the line that you follow. Don't come down into the eyelid. Just keep working in, as I said, window wiper movements with your brush back and forward, back and forward, and then light little circular movements blending upwards. And that will basically help you to um, get it really nice and well blended. Then I'm going to go in with the color Dodo. Okay, so Dodo is basically, if you can see it there, Dodo is, it looks upon kind of when you first look at it, it just looks like a nice kind of deep kind of um, brown. But when I actually place it on my eyes, it actually turns like a really lovely kind of red brick kind of plummy color. Oh, sorry, my focus is after going. Um, so it turns into like a really dark plummy color. So really, really pretty for green eyes and, and blue eyes and brown eyes. So yeah, it's really nice. So what I'm going to do with this is in the outer part of my eye, I'm just going to apply this in circular movements. And I'm just going to apply this to the outer third of my eye. A lot of other video bloggers and a lot of um, makeup artists will probably call this the outer V of your eye as well. I tend to split the eye into thirds, into three sections. You have your outer eye, you have your middle eye, and you have your inner eye. So this to me is the outer eye. And I'm just going to do the same. So you can see I'm still doing those small circular movements. I'm not going too far kind of in, into my inner part of my eye. I'll blend that in now just in a couple of minutes. So this color is absolutely gorgeous what I love about it is that straight away when you go putting it on the eye it just the color payoff is just gorgeous and it really really matches well with the Toby color as well and the two of them really complement and look really well so you can see that I am just ever so slightly I haven't dipped my brush back in again but I'm just blending back in with my brush blending in towards the eye so it's not exactly like placing new product on it's just blending whatever is there and blending it in to the eye and I'm just going to go over this again and the trick to basically um eye makeup and getting your eye makeup really really flawless and really well blended is taking it small steps at a time and building up with the eyeshadow um, and the one thing that I do love about this Pippa palette is that the eyeshadows aren't overly pigmented that as soon as you would place the eyeshadow on your eyelid that you'd just get a big dirty blob almost. It's not like that at all. You just build it up slowly, slowly, slowly. And I like that you don't purposely have to do it, that the eyeshadows just do it for you. So that is kind of how I'm going with it so far. So I don't know if you guys can even make that out. But I'm going to go back in with Toby again and I'm just going to keep building that up until I kind of get a strength that I'm happy with. And as you can see, I'm just applying it to the outer third of my eye and then bringing it in into the crease. Now I'm not bringing it right in here. I'm kind of stopping kind of just before kind of the bridge of my nose. So I'm not bringing it really, really deep in. I'm just building it up slowly. I really hope I'm making sense and I won't have a clue how to edit this video so you're just going to have to listen to my babbling. Sorry. <laughs> so I'm just going to go in with Toby again using the same brush and I'm just going to blend that out. So by blending it out you're basically making your shadow appear much softer. I'm going to go in with Dodo again and I'm just going to run this under the eyes. And I outlined in my video earlier um, on Snapchat that one of the things I actually really liked about these eyeshadows was that there was very, very little or no fallout. Now, I'm not going to say that there's none because it all depends on how much product you place on your brush or how much um, product you actually use. But for me, because I'm just taking small bits at a time and I'm just tapping, 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 there's no fallout down here on my cheeks. 
look at is my I hope you guys can see that okay this would be kind of like my standard smoky look so I ran out of storage on my phone there but these are all the technical things that I'm sure that's why people use better cameras anyway I'm basically going to go in and now I'm going to do the eyeliner and I am going to use my angled blank canvas E38 brush and I am going to use the KD shade in the Pippa palette so I actually really like to use eyeshadow as eyeliners and what I'm basically going to do is I'm just going to tap that along my lash line starting from the outer part working my way in I'm just tapping along. I'm not trying to do it in one big swoop. I think the inner part of my eye as well. So what you can actually do with these eyeshadows as well is you can you can wet them. Um, and I tend to do that quite a lot. I tend to use MAC Fix Plus Spray. And I'll wet the eyeshadows, which kind of gives it a little bit more of a hold rather than trying to do it with water. Um, and you can turn any eyeshadow into a liquid eyeliner but for now I'm just going to do it dry and hope that this works out for the best I really hope the storage doesn't go on the phone again I don't even know like how to make the storage bigger on an iPhone so if anybody knows that <laughs> I know this isn't a sort out your iPhone kind of video but if anybody has any tips that would be great so that is the top line done and I'm just going to mimic that along the bottom I'm basically just dragging that eyeshadow underneath my lashes on the bottom and just bringing it up so that it meets the top same with this eye I can hear people walking up and down the stairs and I guarantee you somebody's probably going to walk into my room because that's normally what happens. And they'll probably make a liar out of me and it won't. So now that I have the dark done, I'm going to go in with Toby again and I'm just going to blend that out. Don't ever leave it kind of harsh because it's just going to look... Um, really kind of panda like whereas this kind of adds more of that kind of sultry and it smokes everything out that little bit more okay so I'm just going to go in with a teensy weensy bit more dodo and I'm just going to add that to more to the outer corner so that at least the outer V of the eye is um, much darker so a lot of people think that you always have to use black for smoky eyes that's so not true you can use any colour you like, as long as there's a contrast between kind of the, the middle and the outer. So then what I'm going to do is using my flat E24 brush, um, I'm going to go in and I'm just going to place Ollie all over my lid. Well, not all over the lid, just the part where you can still see skin. And then using... The brush, the same brush that I've just been using for my crease, I'm just going to kind of blend that out so that it's not very harsh. So obviously guys, you can use your own eyeliners and whatever else for um, this look. But I just said I would use the Pippa palette because as I said earlier, it more or less is an all-in-one. So now I'm just going to apply some mascara. This is the Isadora Flashing Volume. It's actually a little like sample size. Um, we got this in our Into the West Bloggers Network goodie bags and I was cleaning out my room last week and came across it and I love it but I don't know I always find sometimes I get the samples of these things and you try them out and they're amazing and then you buy the real thing and they're crap so I'm just gonna keep using this one I love this one because it makes my lashes look nice and thick but it also makes them really long as well so now that I've applied that I'm going to apply the same to my bottom lashes my hair would move out of the way guys you're going to be rolling laughing at me because 
video is just going to be the, the worst video in history. If it goes viral, it probably will be because it's the worst YouTube video in history. Then guys, what I love as well is I'm going to go in and I'm going to use Lily and I'm going to just place that under my brow because it acts as a highlighter. It's really, really nice. This shade is extremely pigmented though, so be careful when you're using it so that you don't take off too much. And I'm also going to just place this in the inner tear duct of my eye. And what this does is it just makes my eyes appear more open, more bright, and also wider apart, giving the illusion of a nice kind of open, smoky look. So I'm just going to tidy that up a bit. I'm after like marking under my eye. That's not fallout, as I was contradicting about myself earlier. I obviously hit it with my finger. And basically that is the eye makeup look. I always have to like fix my hair for it. So can you see it? It's really lovely. I love the eyeshadows. And can you see that there kind of is like a plummy kind of tone to that eyeshadow? Maybe it's just my eyes that maybe it changes. But um, that is the eye makeup. So I hope you guys kind of enjoyed that part of it. Then I'm going to quickly show you now how to now how to do the highlighting and the contouring and the blush. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my F30 brush by Blank Canvas and I'm going to use the shade Amour, which is love in French. And I'm basically going to apply this into the hollows of my cheeks. I love this brush for contouring. It just gets such a precise line. It's amazing. And I love this shade. Um, this shade is nearly like an ashy kind of grey shade. And um, not grey, kind of an ashy kind of toned contour shade. And it basically, um, that is the shade the contouring should be. It's matte as well, which is fantastic. So that's my cheeks done. Then I'm going to go in with the Pipsy blush. I used this earlier and guys, I just love it. So what you do is you smile and on the apples of your cheeks, just flicking it kind of back, nice and light. What I love about this as well is that it's, again, it's not highly, highly pigmented. It, um, it's just really, really lovely. I can see myself using this blush a lot because it's a really warm kind of peachy tone. I love it. And then last but not least, I'm going to use Lulu. So I'm going to go in with my F05 blank canvas brush. I normally use my fingers for highlighter, but I bought this one just last week from blank canvas. And I'm going to use that. So I'm just going to flick back and forward. Can you guys see that? Isn't it absolutely gorgeous? Absolutely stunning. I actually thought when I was first using it that it was going to turn out kind of like really, really gold. But it doesn't. It's just the, the payoff from it. The shine you actually get is just amazing. Stunning. I love it. Absolutely gorgeous. I can see why Pippa absolutely loves this one. So guys, that is my look. Okay, so it's now about 19 minutes. So apologies about that because I probably won't edit any part of it because I haven't a clue how to edit and I don't really want to edit it either because I kind of want you to see everything that I did. I don't want to move anything around. So um, if you guys have any questions, um, please feel free to ask and I hope you don't laugh at me too much because this is my first video. So um, I hope you enjoy it and thank you very much. I will talk to you soon and hopefully I'll have another video soon enough. Okay, thanks very much. Mwah! Love you. Thank you. Bye.